Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do another of my collection, makeup collection videos. So I had a couple of requests from my Lily Lolo eyeshadow one um, to do highlighters and then also palettes and single eyeshadows. So I'm starting off with the highlighters today and kind of talking through them, which ones I think are the best that I'd recommend, the way, best way to use them and maybe any that I might decide to um, part with. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to break it down, so I'm going to start with all my liquid highlighters first, or cream liquid highlighters. Um, I don't have too many um, to share. So I'm going to start off with two that I think I probably am going to get rid of, partly because they must have expired by now because they're very old. And it's the two iconic London illuminators. I'm sure years ago I did a uh, highlighter video again and these definitely featured so I think it's about time they went and I also never use them anymore so I can't imagine they'll be in particularly a great state. So the ones I got were, so I got the original one when this first came out. So it's a nice kind of golden champagne colour. It definitely gives a nice wet finish to the skin looks really beautiful. Um, I'd say this was the first one they came out with so um, <clears throat> I did think it was a little bit too dark for my skin tone and you'd have to blend it in really well but it does blend really nicely to be fair. It feels smooth, it doesn't feel sticky, it's not super like wet on the skin so it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that and there is a little bit of shimmer, but not really, so it definitely gives that more wet finish to the skin, which I think is really pretty. Um, but like I said, I don't reach for this anymore. It's definitely expired, so that is going to be one that um, I am going to part with. Yeah. Um, what I will say is if you do want to pick these up, because I'm not saying these are um, bad highs at all, I think they work really nicely. There's just others that I use more now. Um, I actually think they work better with fingers or with a brush. Um, I find, I don't know why, a sponge for me just didn't blend in as well as I'd hoped to, but yeah, as you saw, rubbing it there or kind of tapping more, or using a brush works really well. So the second shade I did pick up because I thought it would be more suitable for my skin tone is Shine. So as you can see, it's a nice pink pearlescent shade. Again, exact same formula, um, really nice texture, barely any um, shimmer. So it definitely gives that wet feel, and as you can see, that's definitely a bit more of an icy, icy pearl. So suited my skin just a bit better. So if you're someone who loves a really glowy, wet finish to the skin, um, these work really nicely, and you only need a little bit, so they will last you a long time. Obviously, make sure they don't expire and use them on your skin, but I would recommend those ones if you enjoy Iconic London. Actually, I don't know if they still do them. I probably should check that, but if they do, and this is kind of your kind of highlighter, I would highly recommend. But yeah, they're um, parting ways because they have definitely expired. Um, the next one I'm going to share is the Maya Chia highlighter. This is the highlight of the day. It's an illuminating serum in the shade Golden Hour. Um, when I first got this, I really enjoyed it. But in all honesty, I don't use it that much anymore. I think it might be another one I'm going to part with. Because again, there are others I reach for more. And I think this has gone a bit funny as well. Yeah, let me shake it up. It's definitely not as... No. I think this might have dried up or gone funny anyway. I'm going to have to go anyway. But it was a really nice shade for my um, skin tone. Um, it does have an interesting smell, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, but it does blend really nicely into the skin. Again, there's no shimmer, so very much gives like a wet finish to the skin. Very natural as well. Um, so slightly less blinding than the Iconic London ones. Um, this one was a nice shade. But I don't know. Again, it's just not one that I reach to. Um that often. I've got two other liquid highlighters that I still much prefer over this one at the moment. So um, this one is also going to go, I think, um, partly because it's definitely expired. Um, but also I just don't gravitate towards it too much. But if you enjoy 
Um, if you're looking for a clean beauty dupe to the Iconic London's, actually that's probably not far off. It's not got the kind of um, pigment like the other two um, highlighters do. It's got more of a clear, clear base to it with a slight golden champagne hue almost. Um, so it's a lot more natural. So if you prefer something more natural and you like your clean beauty, this may well be one to go for. Um, okay, so my two final highlighters I'm going to share. Um, one is, as you can see, there's nothing on this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This can be used as like a foundation base, but it's quite sheer. Um, but it's the glow I love. There's absolutely no shimmer or anything like that. So it's very much a natural, natural glow. I have mine in the shade One Fair. And it comes with a little doe foot applicator. And I do use it a fair amount, but I don't think I'm going to pick it up again because... I think there's some doubt or some question over whether Charlotte Tilbury is actually cruelty free or not. So I'm kind of in two minds about that. But yeah, this definitely is more, you can use this as a foundation, like a sheer foundation if you love glowy foundations. Um, but I do love the glow to this. It just looks so pretty on the skin. Very natural again, so it just get, it makes you, it makes it look like your skin is naturally glowy, which is why I love it so much. I do quite like the kind of slight coverage element to it especially for like no makeup makeup days but it feels really nice on the skin I think overall I prefer cream or liquid highlighters I think they sit nicer on the skin and even though I'm oily I think it doesn't emphasise texture in my opinion and also it it's more flexible with movement so even throughout the day you can kind of almost touch up and it'd be completely fine um, so yes, yeah, so I think overall I am preferring cream and liquid highlights at the moment. Now the highlighter that I've only tried recently, but I think it's overtaking my Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm using it almost every day, is the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in Nova. This is very much more, I would say this is a closer dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury than the Maya Chia one was. In terms of shade, formula, it doesn't have the co like small coverage aspect like the Charlotte, uh, like the Charlotte Tilbury one does, but it looks beautiful on the skin. It blends out really nicely. Um, a small amount goes a long way. There is again, it's just very much a natural. I mean, I've put quite a lot on there, but it, again, it does give a natural glow. I like using it kind of underneath foundation to get that natural glow, um, which I did do today, that's what I've got underneath my foundation is this um, highlighter, but also works really nicely on top as an actual kind of more pinpoint highlight. And that's what I think I like about liquid ones as well, as you can use them as like all over, as give that natural glow to the skin, or you know, pinpoint it to the areas where you just want that extra glow. But I think at the moment, this is by far my favourite highlighter and fast overtaking Charlotte Tilbury so I will 100% pick it up and if I can recommend only one liquid highlighter to you it would be the Ilia one. Love it a lot. Okay so that's all the liquid ones I own. I'm going to move on to powder highlights. Um, now I do st obviously still like powder highlights but like I said I just find liquid and cream highlighters blend onto the skin nice and melt in and I think work better throughout the day as well. I'm going to start off with my two Ether Beauty ones. So I've got um, Pink Diamond Dust and Pure Diamond Dust. Um, I do feel they're slightly different formulas. So Pure Diamond Dust looks like this. This is more um, kind of suits lighter skin tone. It's got a slight champagne but icy feel to it. Now this is probably the, the most blinding out of the two for sure. Um, and I do feel like it does have, um, you can see it just there, and I feel like it does have a little bit more shimmer than the other ones, so which is slightly noticeable on the skin. Nothing horrendous, I do prefer, I would prefer with like almost no shimmer in a highlighter, I just like that kind of more natural look to it. But this is really pretty, it's extremely blinding, especially if you pinpoint it. And we'll do like a little demonstration quickly actually. It 
so it really does give that shine if you like your blinding highlighters then I'd say this is the one to go for and if you don't mind a little bit of shimmer then again this is a really nice one to do I'm just going to blend that in a little bit more um, so yeah so a nice formula but if you don't like any shimmer in it I wouldn't necessarily go for it um, and if you don't like a particularly blinding one although you can obviously go lightly in I'd probably stay clear of this one but I do really enjoy it and I use it quite a lot as like an inner corner highlight or eyeshadow I think works really nicely too. And I've got the pink diamond dust so a bit more of like a rose gold almost a bit peachy as well. Um, this has definitely got a lot less shimmer and it's definitely not as intense as the um, previous one. I'll try and do a swatch next to it. So you've got, that's the kind of more pink, peachy one, that's the champagne, or the pure diamond one, sorry. Um, so this one does have a bit more of a colour to it, but it works really nicely if you're wearing blusher. I think it pairs beautifully when you've got blusher on, and it kind of gives like a, just a <clears throat> illuminating topper for your blusher. So yeah, this one's got a lot less shimmering for some reason, so I think it looks nicer on the skin, and it won't give you as much texture to it. Um... And again, just use it as an eyeshadow, it looks really nice. So out of the two, I'd probably recommend the Pink Diamond Dust. Um, just because of formula-wise, I think it's really pretty and works nicely on the skin. But if you love your blinding highlights, Pure Diamond Dust is the one to go. But I okay, I'm going to move on to one that's actually similar to the Pink Diamond Dust from Ether Beauty. And that's my Nabla one. This is a Venus Sand. Um, possibly a bit more pink than the uh, pure, the pink diamond dust, sorry. And not quite as blinding either. This is slightly deeper, I think. Um, I don't really reach for it that much. But yeah, it's a slightly deeper shade um, than the other one. So you do have to be careful not to give a cast. But again, if you blend it in with blusher, it pairs beautifully with blusher. Again, like I said, currently it's just not one that I'm reaching for at the moment. Um, like I said, liquid cream highlighters are my go-to. Um, but really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one actually because I've got the pink diamond dust from Ether Beauty. Um, and this is quite an old one as well. Okay, so my next two are from Lily Lolo. So these I do really enjoy. They very much have no shimmer and are very much like a natural glow to the skin and sits beautifully on the skin for powder. So I've also got the champagne. I did have the single version, but I kind of used it up. So they do um, kind of singles in packaging like this. So this is dark champagne. Um, as you can see, it's not like a super blinding highlight, which is why I like it. It's more natural on the skin. No shimmer um, to it, which again, I love. And I think it's got a smooth, smooth texture. Um, to it so yeah like I said for powder it still sits beautifully on the skin uh, one that I'm trying to use a bit more at the moment is the rose one from Lily Lolo this is a beautiful um, pearly pink shade so good for my skin tone definitely same formula so again no real shimmer it's definitely more of a natural um, a natural glow to the skin so if you're someone who doesn't again like the blinding highlights like something very natural and prefers your powders then actually the Lily Lolo ones are really nice and I probably would then go for Lily Lolo over Ether Beauty for that reason so those are my highlighters that I own um, like I said I definitely gravitate towards more the liquid cream highlighters I think they just look really beautiful on the skin and sit nicer on the skin um, so yeah, those are my preferences. And out of my collection, if I could only keep one liquid and one powder highlighter, I think definitely for liquid, it's going to be the Ilia Serum Skin Tint. Like I said, it's just overtaken my Charlotte Tilbury one. And I think it works beautifully on the skin. No shimmer, nothing like that. It's very much natural. Wear it under foundation or pinpoint it. Beautiful. Then for powder... Do you know what, I think I would stick to the champagne shade from Lily Lolo. Just because the formula is slightly nicer than Ether Beauty and less blinding. And overall I do prefer the more natural highlights. 
Um, not to say that Ether Beauty isn't nice, I do enjoy them, but I find myself gravitating still towards this one a lot more. So I'd say those were the two highlighters I would pick out of my whole collection. So that's the end of this video, I hope you found that interesting and insightful into my makeup collection. Um, let me know what your preferences and highlighters, whether you've tried any of these, down, um, of these highlighters I own and your thoughts. Or if you've got any recommendations, then please do throw them my way because I'm still happy to try out a few new products every so often. Um, but yeah, so that is my highlighter collection. I'm thinking I'm going to do a bit of a declutter as well because there's a couple definitely expired liquid highlighters in there. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.